The Boyer-Moore Horsebell algorithm is a simplification of the Boyer-Moore algorithm developed by Robert Boyer and Jay Moore. At a very high level, this search algorithm tries to minimize the overall cost of the search by skipping as many characters as possible. This algorithm does this by operating in two stages. The first stage is the pre-processing stage. During this stage, a table is built that contains the number of characters that can be skipped any time a mismatch occurs. This table is known as the bad match table, and we will see how to build it shortly. Now the classic Boyer-Moore algorithm generates the bad match table as well. However, it additionally generates a good suffix table. The good suffix table is also used to determine the number of characters that can be skipped when a mismatch occurs. If you are interested in learning more about how this table is built and used, a reference to more information will be provided later. Once stage 1 is complete and the table is built, stage 2 will perform the search algorithm by comparing the string to find against the string to search for, only instead of comparing the string to find from left to right, it will compare it from right to left. This allows for more efficient bad match character skipping when a mismatch is found. The bad match table is what determines how far the string to find can slide when a mismatch occurs. The algorithm is very straightforward. First, the length of the string being found is stored as the default length to skip when a mismatch occurs. Next, each character is added to the bad match table such that the character index returns the value that is the number of characters that can be skipped upon the next mismatch. Let's look at building the table for the example word truth. First, we set the default value to the length of the pattern, in this case the length is 5. So looking at the table, we can see that any time we get an index that we don't recognize, represented by the question mark, we can skip the entire length of the string being found. Next we allocate the dictionary that will hold the remainder of the table. And finally, we walk the string from left to right and set the distance to skip to be the difference between the pattern length and the current index, minus 1. So let's work through the word truth. The first pass through adds the value t to the table, t being the first letter in the word truth. Now it gets the index value of 4, and it gets that because the pattern length is 5, minus i, which the first iteration through is 0, minus 1. So 5 minus 0 minus 1 is 4. Next, we add the value r to, with an index value of 3. In this case, i is 1, pattern length is still 5, so it's 5 minus 1 minus 1. u gets added with the index value 2. And now we encounter t again. This time, the value for t is 1, pattern length of 5, minus the index 3 minus 1. So we overwrite the value 4 in the table, and we insert the value 1. Now you might notice that the table does not contain the letter h, the last character in the word truth. And this is because if a mismatch occurs on the last character, and if the character only appeared once in the pattern, then the string should slide by the total value of its length. Since that is the default behavior, we simply omit it from the table. Now with the table built, we can go see an example of the search algorithm. In this example, we are going to use the boyer moore horsebell algorithm to search for the word truth in the phrase, we hold these truths to be self-evident. Previously, we saw how to build the bad match table for the word truth. We will now be using that table. The algorithm starts by aligning the word truth to the start of the phrase. As I mentioned earlier, the comparison is not done from left to right, but rather, from right to left. So we start by comparing the H in the word truth with the O in the word hold. These characters do not match. The bad match occurred with the letter O in the word hold. So we consult the bad match table and we see that O does not exist in the table. So the default value 5 is returned and we skip the word truth forward 5 characters. Now let's take a second to understand why that works. 
Since O does not occur anywhere in the word truth, there's no reason to ever compare O to any character in truth, so we can skip all the way past it. And in doing so, we also get to skip past all the characters that precede it. So you can see, we've been able to perform one comparison operation and skip ahead five characters. It would have taken the naive algorithm five comparisons to get to the same point. Now we have a more interesting case. Again, we compare the string to find from right to left. So we see that the h in truth matches the h in these. So we move one character to the left and see that the t in truth matches the t in these. Going once more to the left, we see that the u in truth does not match the space character, so we have a bad match. When we consult the bad match table, we see that the space character does not exist, so the default value 5 is returned, and we skip forward 5 characters. Now we are comparing the letter h in truth with the letter t in truths. Now this is a mismatch, but unlike before, the value t does exist in the bad match table with a value of 1. What happens now is that we are aligning the mismatch t with the t in the string truth. So we'll slide one character to the right. With the t's aligned, we start comparing at the end of the word truth again. This time comparing the h in truth with the r in truths. And this is a mismatch. And again the r exists in the bad match table. So we look up the value, we find the value 3, and we slide everything forward three characters aligning the R's. With the R's aligned, we now match the letter H. And then we match the letter T, U, R, and T. And we've now used the Boyer Moore Horsby algorithm to match the word truth in the phrase, we hold these truths to be self-evident.